So today we're covering the 5 Series 3 collar. It's a little bit windy outside, but fortunately wind doesn't affect GPS and cell technology, so we're pretty good to go. I gotta say, out of all the collars that I've reviewed so far, these are the coolest looking collars because of their minimalism. I find them be I find them to be uh, probably one of the most durable smart collars I've ever come across. But we're going to get into all that, break it down for you, what the collars do, their overall functionality, the durability. Um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that we're going to get down into the nitty gritty of uh, all the best and worst features of the Five Series Three collar. So uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get started. Alrighty, here's the 5 Series 3 unboxing. As you can see, this is your little uh, charging base. It, um, it's not actually part of the collar or anything. You're gonna plug your USB-C cord into this. Actually, it's a micro USB cord. You're gonna plug it into this and this cord specifically. And um, the actual part that goes on the collar is gonna, pl uh, it's a magnet charger. It's gonna sit right on the top there and it's just really simple. In fact, I just, once I installed this piece here on the collar, all you got to do is just kind of stretch the collar out, lay it down on top of the magnet, and it snaps right to. Not sure what this paper is doing sitting over an empty space all by itself, but uh, the collar itself is in a neatly packaged in this rectangular box here, if I can figure out how to open it. And um, they come in a variety of colors, so uh, yellow is not the only color that you have to settle with. There are other choices out there as well, but the, um, the collar piece that does all the hard work simply snaps magnetically onto the collar and then latches in place. And like I said, whenever you're ready to charge it, you simply slap it down on top of the magnet base and you're good to go. No problems whatsoever. Oh, and here's the uh, little QR code that you gotta scan when you first download the app. That's very helpful. Setup here is a pretty standard affair. You just uh, enter all your dog's information, you know, your basic stuff, your, uh, just a little profile for your dog. In my case, you know, Aries and Athena, and, and in your case, however many dogs or however many collars you have that you want to add, and they're pretty simple to add, but um, you're just filling out your basic profile information, and the app, of course, is available on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And um, I found the process to be pretty streamlined and pretty standard for what, um, you know, for smart collars, because I've done several of these at this point, so I wouldn't say anything is out of the ordinary here. It's it's pretty simple. So what kind of features can you expect from the five collar? Well, there's actually quite a few of them, and uh, some of them are a little interesting in the way they function, uh, probably because, at least if you've seen some of my previous videos, they don't quite function the same way as uh, other smart collars do. That doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a bad thing. They operate off of uh, three global uh, positioning systems, uh, GPS, uh, GLONASS, I'm never sure if I pronounced that correctly, uh, Galileo, um, they come with night lights, they've got lost dog mode, escape alerts, activity monitoring as far as health, you know how many times your dog takes a step, everything, all of that gets recorded, their sleeping habits. Um, it integrates with your uh, local veterinarian so that you can uh, send your health reports to the uh, vet. It integrates with Strava, which is a social fitness app. Um, it integrates with Instagram for your social media and video and uh, photos. And, you know, if you especially if you really get into the social uh, media aspect uh, with your dog. Um, so it connects with a lot of different things. Um, you got local communities built into the app so you can communicate with and share stuff with people in your area that also have five series three collars. Um, you got pri um, proprietary algorithms for uh, escape detection. Uh, they come in a variety of colors. And one of the coolest things I like about them is, is that they just look like a standard collar. There's no huge bulk, no, uh, you know, no tying a piece into another piece and it's just big old you know hanging off your dog's neck got up to three months of battery life um, they're basically an apple air tag combined with gps technology so if you've ever used an apple air tag you kind of know what i'm talking about um you know the find my phone feature uh the apple utilizes um it's very similar to that. It uses LTM's uh, dash M technology, which is typically used for the internet of things. And that's basically, it combines the GPS and this uh, LTE, and of course, Wi-Fi when you're at home to uh, make sure your dog is safe and sound, secure in your backyard. And if your dog escapes, you're able to track the dog down without without much of an issue because it's, it's pretty accurate. and. Uh, We'll break all that stuff down for you. It's generally a small size and it's probably one of the most durable collars I've ever had to, um, 
review or I've ever had in my hands. It's they're made of stainless steel, other than the strap part, of course. But uh, it's just not something your dog's going to be able to chew off. And uh, even the pieces, the interlocking pieces that go with it, are made of some really strong stuff. They're uh, you can bounce these things off the ground. They're very very durable. High degree of waterproofing, if I remember correctly. IP68 and IP66K uh, water resistance and shock resistance. So that's pretty solid for a dog collar. Um, dog's definitely not going to roughhouse and uh, knock these collars around and do any damage to them. So that's always something worth worth having if you have a uh, rowdy rambunctious dog like uh, one of mine. All right, one of the first things you'll notice here as I'm running this test on the 5 Series 3 is that both dogs, Athena and Aries, are wearing one. And that center dot that represents the dogs and the collar never moves. So that makes this collar unlike the Tractive, the um, Halo, and the Spot On because you don't actually see your dogs move on the map. It only informs you when they go outside of that circle by sending an alert to your phone. Other than that, it sits quietly and does essentially nothing but track them in the yard without visually showing you. All right, so we're up here at the local disc golf course because I wanted to get outside of Aries and Athena safe zone on the uh, Fi app. And let's see what happens when we do the track dog. Because remember, it doesn't actually track your dog's movement, you know, live where you can see it on the app. Like um, on Halo and Spot On and, and even uh, Tractive, you can actually watch on the app, you know, with a satellite overview or with a regular map. You can actually watch your dog moving around. On here, you cannot do that. So let's see how the track lost dog feature work. All right, activating live tracking. It says waiting for caller's next communication less than five minutes. Well, last time I did this, just testing around with it, it didn't make me wait five minutes, but we're gonna see here if it does that. And not only if how long we have to wait, but where it's gonna place me, how accurate it is. I'm literally just down the street from my house. It looks like it's already got me placed on the map. Why it's still activating live tracking at the bottom, I'm not entirely sure. I'm a little ways off from Aries' safe zone, but it's still activating live tracking, even though I can clearly see I'm in the correct place on the map. There we go. End live tracking. I was just testing. All right. All right, it's everybody's favorite part, pros and cons. What do I like and what do I not like about the Phi Series 3? Well, it's got real-time tracking, which is very convenient and it's pretty accurate. Very durable. I mean, this stuff's made of stainless steel. Uh, your dog's not gonna be chewing through it anytime soon. You can add as many owners as you like to it. Um, so that way, you know, you can keep track of who is who and what is what on the app. Um, it's got a nightlight. You know, that don't sound all that great, but in practice, if you're looking for your dog at nighttime, that night that nightlight, it's easy to turn on and off. Very convenient. Um, obviously the lost dog mode, once you put it in lost dog mode, it stays in lost dog mode until you find your dog. Um, and it also triangulates their position within, you know, a few feet. Um, it's got all your built-in activity tracking, plus you can share all that information with your veterinarian, which to me is, you know, something that every smart smart collar with uh, act activity tracking on it should do. And of course, it keeps up with sleeping, how much exercise they're getting, and all that good stuff. You know, important information that you should know, if, you know, based on how you're feeding your dog water and how much exercise they're getting, you know, if they're a little overweight, need to lose some weight. It's a good collar to have for that. Um, you get escape alerts, you got your basic geo fences. Um, like I said, they're very, uh, very durable, they're waterproof. You get up to a three month battery life. Uh, in practice, it's more along the lines of maybe one and a half to two months, at least according to Phi. Um, I have not been using mine that long yet, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, as far as the cons, it's the end of, to me, the, the most egregious thing is the individual subscriptions and the fact that you have to get 
a minimum of six months um, commitment before you even can purchase a collar because you have to purchase a subscription when you purchase the collar. There's no, you can't uh, parse, you know, divide these things out. You gotta have all the above or you can't get the collar. And uh, it's pretty pricey, especially for the monthly option, which is $19.99 um, yeah, a month. And that's, that's higher than just about any kind of streaming program out there that you can get on your TV. Uh, plus you gotta pay a $20 activation fee you know, on top of the price of the collar, um, the geofencing has a has a minimum size. You know, you can't go too small, and um, you know you got to have Wi-Fi to operate it, uh, or at least to operate the app. The most complicated and unfortunate aspect about the Five Series Three so far is subscription plans. And they only have one monthly plan, and then everything else is prepay. And unfortunately, it's it's kind of complicated or they make it more complicated than it needs to be because everything's set up you know showing you a week by week basis when you actually prepay the entire thing or you just pay monthly and the monthly payment part is probably the most expensive that you're going to find on the smart caller market period and then everything else is set up in a three month six month one year and two year period now they generally they show the general savings that you you'll get from doing the uh annual plans but um you also have to keep in mind that just to activate a subscription subscription plan, you also have to pay an additional twenty dollars. In conclusion, the uh, I really like the Five Series. Uh, I think that it's got a lot of things going for it. I think that the subscription model that they use is the biggest thing, biggest factor holding it back. Um, if you're looking for something that's very precise, something that's going to, uh, you know, prevent like a prevention device, keeping your dog inside the yard, then the uh, 5 Series 3 is not going to work for you. It happens to work good for me because I already have physical fencing and the only thing I've ever been concerned about is my dog's escape in the yard. And the collars are relatively small. Um, they're pretty much like traditional collars, so you don't have to uh, worry about those big bulky collars like the spot on the halo. They're pretty sizable and attractive too, you know, even though it's a smaller model, it's about maybe that long, but it's awfully thick and bulky when you put it on the dog. So it looks kind of silly, especially on uh, smaller dogs. Um, I would recommend it for those who are not looking, like I said, for, you know, a, a preventative, but something that's there just in case their dog gets loose. And um, I think it's invaluable for that. I think it's very accurate. And I think it's, um, it's pretty precise and uh, it does a good job of alerting you on time. And um, that's really all we ask for with these things is, um, you know, something like the five series or the five series three to just let you know if your dog is not where your dog's supposed to be. I mean, I think that's the most important aspect, but, um, like I said, if you're not looking for prevention, I think it's a great collar. If you're looking for something that doesn't have as complicated and expensive a subscription model, I would stay away from the Y or the five series three, the, uh, out of all the collars I've covered, it's probably the worst model there is. I, I just, I really don't like it. Um, but, uh, other than that, under normal circumstances, I'd say I'd probably purchase it and use it, uh, just, just as a, uh, tracking device and to make sure that my dogs are staying in their yard. Last but not least, make sure you like, and subscribe. I know I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, uh, share your own personal experiences with me. Um, ask questions. I get on YouTube all the time and do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, you know, I, I'm like everybody else. I work, I've got things going on, but, uh, I definitely try to get on there and answer all your questions and please feel free to share any of your experiences as well. That's great stuff. And, uh, you know, we can kind of make a community out of this.